calcium in four viruses like this. Those four viruses are most common in our community. We are going to see them several times and some of them they have already a vaccine. Therefore, they are challenging if someone is not vaccinated, but if someone is vaccinated, it means that there is nothing but challenge. So our discussion today will be based on uh, varicella zoster, mesovirus, mump virus, and also alveolar virus. So together, uh, that's, this is the base of the discussion. So uh, we have mesovirus, we have the mump virus, and we have rubella virus. virus. So with regard to uh, a mesovirus, this is highly contagious virus. When you say highly contagious, it means that it can easily get you uh, it, can, it can easily infect someone else. It can easily infect someone. That is contagious means. Therefore, uh, miso is highly contagious virus uh, or viral infection of, um, of which it affects mostly the throat. It also affects the uh, airway. It also affects the lungs and skin. And mostly, uh, this is caused by Bella virus. So when we come to, to, to skin, skin can be affected by measles, but again, rubella can affect this part. Mump virus is an acute viral disease, and rubella is another acute disease that usually affects the suspected individual of any age. This is the structure of uh, varicella zoster. With regard to varicella zoster, this is another type of virus. The common characteristic for this virus is mostly they affect the airway. They affect the artery, the airway, and the house. They infect the easy way of uh, being infected, uh, how to infect someone is through airway. Therefore, we have the varicella zoster and those which are mentioned. This is the structure of um, varicella zoster, of which we have the phagoprotein spike, we have the lipid envelope, the pediment, the nuclear capsule, and double stranded DNA. Therefore, the major characteristic for this organism, the varicella zoster, is having what? A double stranded DNA. Uh, what are the characteristics for the varicella zoster virus? Number one is it is a member of a uh, particular <coughs> family and they are double stranded DNA virus with envelope and again they are ecosahedral in shape. I've already discussed about it, but the major thing that I wanted to speak is they can be transmitted by what? Inhalation. They can be transmitted by inhalation. That's why I say the major path gate for them is what? It causes cytopathic effect in cell culture. This means that after being infected, cell dies. Most of the cells which are infected by this type of virus, they die. And the dead cell may clump together to form inclusion body. The cell may also get light and mutate. Valsara zosta is transmitted primarily by respiratory droplet, while the zosta is not. Valsara is transmitted in primary by respiratory drug while the zoster is not in the middle of that, that, that cause. Shingo, which is caused by the zoster now, it is a reactivated of varicella. So when you get infected, you will first get infected by by varicella. This is called the chicken pox. Then if you are infected by varicella, then you get a chicken pox. It can stay within your body, you get like healed, then it can come up again. And when it comes up again, can come as wati shingo. Okay. So the first thing we get infected as by wati, we get infected by varicella, we get chicken pox. Then it goes down. Then it, when your immune is kind of low, then shingles become up again. Okay. We call this shingo wati in Swahili. Therefore, this is responsible for slow cytopathic changes in human tissues. And most of the shingles, they also follow the dermatomes. You can see the nerves within the what? The skins. It's mostly for those areas. Diseases which are caused by varicella zoster and viruses, they are varicella chicken pox in children. And zoster shingle, mostly this happen in what? In adults. I think you understand now. Chicken pox, I think you know it. Most of kids do get this. Zoster are usually a kind person of immunocompromised as a result of disease therapy, also aging, but it occasionally develop in how the young ones, adults, it can happen. The activation of primary infection varicella is the major cause for this particular disease. When you see shingle, most of the time it has been 
it has already infected someone as Wati and Sarah. Are we together? Not both diseases are caused by the same Wati, the same virus. That's why we say there is reactivation. There is point of Wati, reactivation. Without being caused by the same organism, meaning that there is no possibility for the same organism to cause. Now, Varicera zoster. We have Varicera zoster. You see now, the Varicera zoster is this one. It, at the first time, they call this is called what? It is chicken pox, kind of, and, but it, the similar condition may happen in what? In small what? In small pox, it can happen in that one, it's the same one, but in, this is chicken pox, and it's mostly caused by what? By varicella zoster. But if it reappears, it can cause what? Jingles. Have you seen it? So the same organism do cause a chicken pox, the same organism cause what? Shingles. Are you together? But this is reactivation. And first time, this one can happen. And the second time, this one can happen. Miso. It has been reported that in miso cases, uh, onset, it has been a lot of cases which have been reported in terms of miso, but there's no need of explaining here. But you see, you see the part of Tanzania, Tanzania you see it is here, is it? Tanzania is here, and the number of miso have been reported in for year 2011. It was what? About what? About thousand. Of which, in other countries like Brazil, you see, now 10 what? 99. You see a country like this one, which, where, which is this country? South Africa. South Africa. You see what? No data are not applicable, means that they have maybe eradicated the what? The disease is no longer there. Are you together? Zero cases here, there is no data, I means there is no research which have been done on that area. But here, there is zero cases. So in zero cases, you see like these areas, zero cases. Here, 199. So 999. You see there are places like this one, they have not even reported. Maybe it is not a big deal to their country. But in Mizo is a big deal in Mwati in Tanzania. You see, Tanzania is among what? Highly endemic area of Mwati is Mizo infection. So what are the characteristics of Mizo? Uh, Mizo virus belong to the family para of which Mizo virus are enveloped, enveloped uh, with a helical nucleoside. Possess one piece of single stranded Wati RNA. Why do we say is Varicella possess what? DNA. Varicella possess DNA, but uh, measles possess what? Measles possess the RNA. Varicella possess, possess what? DNA. So the envelope is covered with spike which contain hematoglutin. This one are the ones which enables the, bacteria, the, the virus to attach itself in what? In our cells, or to attach in, in, our, in our membranes. In different membranes, this hemoglobin, they are the one which enables adhesion. Therefore, they, they are there for what? Adhesion, adhesion in capability to become a tissue. Therefore, they are neuro These are the enzymes also, which they work with that by a particular virus. Also, there's something called diffusion protein that causes cell fusion and hemolysis. Uh, last, when they fuse, they can cause hemolysis, meaning that they break down of what? The red blood cells. So, you see, this is HN, hemoglobin neuro, neuro, neuro mindas, proteins. There's also, there's, there's also a lipid layer. There's also part of fusion protein. You see that the fusion protein is there. So there is transcriptase complex, including the nucleoside and large polymerase and p phosphor protein, of which they are important for the issue of multiplication of this virus. So what are the symptoms of measles? The major symptom that you are going to see is symptoms usually begin 8 to uh, 12 days after exposure, of which you are going to see bloodshot eyes, kind of. You will see calm, you will see fever, you see light sensitivity, or someone will increase, someone feel like very pain in regard to light. There's also muscle pain to affect the muscles, that's the muscle pain. Rashes may appear as flat, discolored areas. So this is the major sign for most of us. Someone may get sick of those fever, cough, and what, what. But rashes, they are the one who indicate that this is what? This is measles. 
running nose or run nose can, can happen. Sore throat, someone may have sore throat. Tiny white spot in, inside the mouth, which is a converting coplane spot. We're going to see that. Complications for uh, this type of disease is someone may complicate with uh, pneumonia, encephalitis, bronchitis, this is inflammation of what? Bronchi, otitis media, because there is always communication between the nose, uh, the, the, the ear, there is communication, is it? That, that one can even go, the bacteria can go even to the middle ear, cause otitis media. So, mesotransmission transmission spread by contact with the drop from the nose, mouth, or throat of infected person. Sneezing and coughing can include contaminated drop in water, air. That we can find it even on air. <clears throat> the diagnosis of meso, first of all, ask a question about the symptom that you have mentioned earlier when you are taking the history. Also, you ask you for the issue of current medication condition. If someone is in use of some medication, you may compl complain of the same symptoms because of side effect of what is that particular medication. Asking for the family history of that particular medication, maybe the same has been happening within this family. That will, won't bother you with the issue of measles. Serology detects the presence of antibody against the microorganism. Also, certain microorganisms prevent the body to produce antibody during an active infection. That was serology, is, that this is kind of a part of test. So, serology test that you say, they gently insert the needle into the vein, that is the issue of taking blood. In infant or young children, lancet may be used. Lancet, this is a small needle for taking blood. Blood collected the small glass tube called the pipette and you slide and test it, see if the blood must be collected, testing for serology test. So, treatment of measles, there is no treatment of measles, but calling may relieve the symptom. Now, for this why, Measles is among uh, viral disease which we give vaccine to children. There's no real treatment for them, but we can give what it, we can give uh, vaccination. So one of the things that you can, 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 can uh, relieve symptoms, you can do bed rest, humidify the air, maybe the hot air kind of, because it is really uh, difficult for him or her to act, to breathe. Therefore, you have to make sure that you are controlling the nose, the, Mount the trachea. Humidified air can relieve symptoms, flu and what is cold. I think you have seen someone can tell you maybe you put some hot water near close to a to a, to a, to a nose, to a mouth and mouth and nose. Whereby you need what is humidified air. At least you feel relieved, is it? Or you they can tell you take cold cold what? Uh, hot water hot water or tea. Those all are the are they are there for to make sure that you the prevention for this measles are uh, there is MMR vaccine, measles, mouth, and body, rubella. This is the vaccine which is given to children to help prevent measles, mouth, and rubella. Children uh, one year of age and older get two doses given between age 15 to 18. So again, between age of four and six years. They are repeated. There is every country has got it, it's a schedule. Therefore, uh, your homework is to read what is the study for measles, mumps, and rubella in Tanzania. You really need to understand that because it will be one of our more questions that are going to be done. Sure. Should I repeat? Yeah, when you say exam, we say repeat. Okay. I've said just to read about the schedule for vaccination. I'll ask any vaccination schedule. You really need to understand that. Right. So taking serum immunoglobin 60 days after being exposed to the virus can reduce the risk of developing measles and can make the disease less severe. Prevention, vitamin A supplement reduces the risk for death and complication in the children in less developing countries. Because at the end, this one, people who lack vitamin A are more likely to get infections, including measles. Therefore, the moment children are given vitamin A, is it? They get like drugs, is it? They have also make sure that when you are a doctor, the moment you are required to at least advise to our mothers and uh, family members, you must educate the need for this with an A because at the end when their children get this type of disease, they can complicate a lot if they don't have vitamin A. I 
isolation precaution, airborne precaution are used in those patient patients who have concentrated having infection transmitted. Here we have seen the means of transmission for this disease is what? Air, is it? Droplet which are found in what? Air. Therefore, isolation is very important. This means that the bacteria and virus causing their, their diseases is so small that it can be suspended, suspended in air for a long period of time. An example of disease which can happen with the same part in Zwati, tuberculosis, varicella, which we have said, zoster, shingo, and Zwati, measles. That's why I said we are talking, we are talking um, about varicella, about measles, about mouth, together. Why? Because the means of transmission is Zwati, what? Which is air mostly. Isolation and also the preferred placement for patients who require airborne precaution is in airborne patient isolation room. If possible, single patient room that is equipped with special air handle and ventilation capacity has to be uh, has to happen. But this is very difficult for most most of the hospitals in the COVID nineteen. Also, employees who are not immune to disease should not enter the room unless absolutely necessary because they can get infected. So if they if they must enter, they must wear an appropriate uh, respirator, mask and the visitors should be assisted by nursing or medical staff to determine the immune status, natural disease immunization. Some of us have been sick from this disease. If you have been sick from measles, it won't again repeat because you already have what antibodies and your immune is already in place. Immune vista need not, not to wear a mask. Non-immune vista should be discarded from Italy. If administration is essential, then non-immune vista must wear a surgical act. Mask. Because why masking? The pathway for this disease. You see? This uh, mask is called N95 mask. It's very important for preventing the disease. So what is the function of nine N95? I'm not just the rate of an N95 means that 95 must filter at least 95 percent of viral particles. You see the reason for why 95 because it is has the ability to prevent you from getting the disease for almost 95 what percent. Patient education after you leave, you have to, this that's how you are talking to, 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 to your patient. After you leave, give your child child medicine as directed. Call the child primary health care provider if you think medicine is not working. Secondly, do not give aspirin to children because when you give aspirin to children who are 19 years and who are having measles, the child it will be developed by rare syndrome. It is called the rare what syndrome. It takes aspirin as life threatening brain and liver damage. Antibiotic always give the child antibiotic exactly as ordered by the caregiver. That, that, this is how we are going to talk with the patient. Giving, uh, keep giving this medicine until it comes with God. Even if the child is feeling naughty, cup medicine, the child may need to cup medicine because we have seen there is a lot of complication along the airway and what? Airway and what? Mm -hmm. There is airway which includes the nose and what also? The mouth. So give, uh, this is not that very important for you now. Prevent your child from spreading measles to others. This means that it, you should educate your patient with regard to what? With regard to uh, the way of preventing others from getting the disease. So you may take to your patient that you keep your child away from the others, especially people who have never been uh, at measles or, uh, or a measles, mumps and rubella shots. They have to keep our children away from pregnant women or people with long-term what? Problem. Why, why, why for pregnant women? Because most of the pregnant women have they, they undergo what? They are kind of immunocompromised. They are kind of immunocompromised. <coughs> so if they immunocompromised means that you should, they should not be close to these people because at the end they may end up sick from this particular disease. And this disease may have complications for what? A baby in the womb. Again, keep your child in home from school and daycare until fever or rashes are gone. This is usually takes about eight days. Therefore, you must talk to your patient. Education is a very important component for your treatment. Whenever you're trying to treat your patient, first of all, do a pharmacological counseling. Pharmacological, an anti-pharmacological counseling. 
and pharmacological counseling means that you talk to a patient. If you have discovered that this patient is sick from maybe rubella, or is sick from maybe a shingle virus, which are a virus which causes shingle, maybe a zostal virus, or she or he is sick from what? From what? Means you must talk about the source of particular virus, how it can get spread to other people, how uh, what are the effects, how long the virus can stay, so that you become aware of even protecting other people around. If you don't do that, you receive a lot of people who are sick from Mati, the same condition, which is unnecessary. So, all other these are not going to read. So, uh, uh, a patient is supposed to seek uh, in immediate care if a child gets in trouble in Mati, breathing. Breathing is very fast. If a child gets headache, dryness, stiff neck, because if it is stiff neck, maybe it has been complicated to act. Something of brain, is it? Also, if a child has what? See, these are very important components. You tell your patient if, or you are, you are, you are, you are your peers, you will get mother or, or father about this particular disease. We have the mom. This is an infection with a mom virus. RNA is a telequati as a virus from the family known as the Aramexo virus or Vera and Vera virus. These mumps, the major sign for the mum virus is inflammation of who? Inflammation of what? Inflammation of what? Okay, be curious now. So, major characteristics mum virus are enveloped and they are with the Helicobacter, one single stranded RNA. The baron has two uh, types of envelopes, spike, one with both hemagglutinin and the neuroidus activities, and the other with cell fusing and immunity activities. The internal nucleocapsid protein is soluble antigen, which is detected by complement. We'll talk about complement sometime later. Also, a human is a natural host. This means that mom hosts the affected human. So, L symptoms include the sore throat, Alma. This Alma means that this is the key finding when you are trying to elicit a finding from your patient. Difficulty in swallowing, fever, tiredness, muscle and body ache, loss of appetite, and chills. And This disease affects mostly the parotid gland. This area, it affects mostly the parotid gland and it causes the inflammation of that area. And if it is getting inflamed, you will uh, find it. The diagnosis is made from symptoms, also with the enlargement of that area, mostly this area around uh, the ear. Uh, whereby you see there is, uh, you know, around the, the, the parotid gland, there are a lot of nerve. The major nerve that is passing there is partial nerve. Partial what? So a, person, a patient may even complain during normal activities of the face because nerve have been maybe compromised altogether. So you see, this is how you are going to observe the mom virus. You should think of mom virus whenever you find a patient is, has come to your office without any other complication, maybe no any wound inside the, the, the mouth, no any traumatization, you know. If you rule out those conditions, it means there's high possibility of them being sick from what? From mom virus. Okay. So other signs like the current medication things, family history medication condition, they can cause. So you see, swollen of what? Gland. The normal gland looks like that way, but if there is swollen of the gland and which I say is what? The parotid gland which can cause this particular problem. Diagnosis, diagnosis marks can often be done just based on person's symptoms and finding on physical exam. A blood test to look for antibody to the mom virus can also help us to diagnose the disease. Throat culture to look for the virus in the fluid that is around the brain and spinal cord, CSF may be ordered. And transmission mom will spread by coughing and sneezing or touching something uh, infected with mom virus. 
it can occur anytime from a few days prior to the onset of swelling of saliva gland to nine days after onset of symptoms. Once the virus enters the body, it travels back to the throat, nose. That's why you can it also infect others when you are hurt, you are coughing, or when you are hurting, sneezing. So it can affect also the lymph glands. Therefore, around this area, when you are going to palpate about those lymph nodes, you will find them the wati, they are blood. They are wati, they are blood. Prevention, again, the same. I said this is miso, mom, and rubella. Therefore, miso, by, miso vaccine is also very important. Help prevent miso, uh, miso mom, and rubella. Children under one, uh, children <coughs> one years of age or older get two doses. They are usually given between 15 and 18 months. Uh, and again, between 4 and 20, 6 years. So, isolation precautions. That time may be fine if it is a public problem, even in schools. Therefore, to prevent that, that children have to have this mask time. We get This person will not remain in pictures of, uh, of a long distance in healthcare facilities. Special air handling and ventilation are not required to prevent problems. So, you have to educate your patient on when to call their doctor. They have to call the doctor if they suspect that their child has a mom with that condition they have said. Uh, if children have diagnosed with mom, they have to keep track about the temperature because it can go beyond that. Mom can also involve brain and its membrane. Call, they have to call the doctor immediately if the children feel like stiff, stiff neck because if stiff, stiff neck, Automatically, that is a particular meningitis. There is inflammation of body, meninges. Meninges, this is the membrane of body, brain. If there is inflammation of that membrane, you cannot even be able to, to, to turn your head like this. And you won't be able to do like this. You will just remain this one. Okay, <coughs> that is your body, stiff neck. You even try to, uh, to awake someone from the bed or to, to tell him, okay, walk up, or maybe a sit on the bed, they cannot stand on their own, like, come up easily, they do like, use neck body, stiffness, extreme dullness, also severe headache and changes of consciousness, these are indicators which are very, very uh, important for them to be important in the doctors. Complications, they can complicate to deafness, they can cause meningitis, that's an inflammation of the infection of the fluid and lining uh, covering of the brain and spinal cord. Also, they can cause wati myocarditis. This is inflammation of wati muscle of the heart or heart muscles. Also, it can cause wati arthritis, of which this one can cause joint pain and other things. Infertility, the patient can spread to the ovaries. So, it can even go and cause wati infertility. Understand the infertility? Yes? Doctor intervention, you have to watch for abdominal pain because this disease can even affect different organs in the heart, the abdomen, including the liver, the pancreas, it can affect it. It can mean involvement of pancreas in either sexual involvement or over in the hair. It both watch for high fever with pain, swelling of testicles, it can happen. Right here. Isolation until swelling subsides is very important. Bed rest until swelling subsides is very important. Liquid or soft food, distributed food containing water, acid. This kind of people who are sick are mouth right? You get the point. <coughs> Ubera. Ubera, by other term, it's known as a German measles. So that's why you have seen that miso and rubella, sometimes they cause some kind of things, similar kind of diseases. So uh, rubella virus belong to the the Gobridae family, an enveloped virus with a exohydro nucleoside. They possess uh, one piece of single stranded RNA. Also, replication takes place in the plasma of the host cell. They assemble and binding occur through host cell membrane. Clinical features they cause low grade fever, maculopapular rashes, macula, papula. Macule is uh, they are very small. When you say macule uh, in, in dermatological language, these are very small uh, uh, lesions, less than one centimeter. They are not palpable. They are not what? They are not palpable. But when you say papules, they are palpable lesions, like you see them. When you touch it this way, they are palpable lesions. 
of which they can develop further and even cause costumes of which they, when you say, when you say are costumes, those are lesions which pass inside. Are you together? So in the pathological language, there are different uh, lesions which can happen in the, in, the, in, the, in the skin or on the skin, of which the macule can be one of it, of which macule, when they coalesce together, they can cause patches, which will be, become more big. It can cause uh, papules, it can cause uh, papules of which they are, they are raised in the apple are lesions. They can cause also costumes of which their lesion will pass inside. They can cause a number of lesions within the skin. Again, we have the malaise. Someone feel like very tired or what? Usually, quite mint. So, transmission is acquired via airborne droplet emission from the upper respiratory tract. May also present in urine, pieces on skin. No reservoir cases, only active human cases. There's no reserve cause cases in terms of animal, other animal, but human being is already active in human Yes. Incubation period is two to uh, three weeks, and major complication for this disease is thrombocytopenia, means that it affects mostly the uh, issue of uh, blood clotting. It affects blood clotting and clotting. So there's also cupura, of which you see reddish like on the scale. Encephalitis, whereby it involves now the body, the brain. Also at the right of which there are a lot of deposition of antibody antigens are in joints and cause formation of joints with COVID and The treatment and uh, prevention, this is self-limiting illness, more specific treatment or antiviral treatment. Clinically, Mr. Rubera in three to four months of pregnancy is to fight off infection. Peter Wati, and if it affects the Pito, my dear, that's very bad. So my major thing that I want to talk to you here is you will meet pregnant women who will be coming to you for clinic. Who will be coming for you to clinic. Can you stand back? That one, no. Yes. Yes, just stand. Sandra. But I will tell you why I'm standing. Okay, so clinically. If someone is coming with pregnant, one of the major things to screen is what it will be. There's thing, something called the torch diseases. You must read torch diseases. Torch diseases. T O R C H. So those diseases, they must be T. Is there is something called the toxoplasma gondii. There is rubella ara. You must find others. So those are diseases which can affect uh, a lady with a... Uh, they can affect anyone, but they are very dangerous for someone with what pregnancy because they can infect what? A baby, a baby in the womb. So, for general rubella syndrome, there are three class B type. They can cause cataract in baby. Cataract means that they can cause something like a baby will be born with something like a white sheet thing here, of which on, on the eye itself, of which he or she cannot see very well. Also, there is something called the cardiac abnormalities. They can have complication of cardiac. They can have deafness. Therefore, whenever a patient comes with pregnancy, early on, make sure that you screen for what it is to and for you as doctors, before you get pregnant, screen for what rubella, screen for what toxoplasma gondii, screen for other diseases which can affect you are expected baby. And most of us also, the doctor, find your pregnancy are not even aware. Okay. Maternal venenemia and rubella infection during pregnancy may also lead to the infection of placenta. So these are things which may happen. They can cause also something called, something called the microcephaly. Microcephaly means that a baby will be born with a small brain. So if the small brain means automatically, you should not expect it too much from him. Maybe miracle from God himself. Because if someone is having a microcephaly, it means that he, his brain is small. Is it? Cognitive ability, intelligence goes what he down. Are you together? And the cataract that you are speaking from these babies, you see this whitish thing here. 
And the cataract thing, when you see them, they are whitish kind of, which is not supposed to be. This is the one. This is the clear indication for someone who is watching having a male. You may find these kids coming to you. Seeing this one indicate that the mother was having what? Rubella. Are you together? So congenital rubella syndrome, both rate of fetal cell are reduced. Fewer number of cells after birth. Growth retardation even in the womb. And then we'll come up with jaundice. We have said now you know what is jaundice. Many boys colitis, they can happen. CNS, central nervous system, given to the moderate, it provides mental art. Mental retardation. So uh, congenital rubella syndrome can be prevented by effective immunization. We have said already. Those are key things to understand. There are point of nursing intervention, but they're not important for you now. Isolation precautions, like we said earlier, to other diseases, those are important key things that you must be 